My name is Ryan Maya. I've sold over $20 million in e-commerce, and I'm gonna show you my exact Shopify store and all the elements that you need in order for it to convert and give you the step-by-step -step process, cut out all the fluff, and give you exactly what you need to build a Shopify store that sells. So this is my website, Beyond Braid. This is more or less what your store is gonna look like. It's gonna have these elements. It's gonna have a sick product page. It's gonna have a description, some infographics, some videos, some reviews. I'm gonna give you all the elements on how to do this. And this is my other website, Professor Paddles. Same exact concept. And again, these all work in convert right now. So if you're looking for someone who's done this before and I've been doing it for eight plus years, this Shopify store works and sells millions of dollars. Let me show you how to make it. Way back in the day when I started on Shopify, what I used to do is come over to shopify.com click start a free trial and get the whole store set up. Now I got a little shortcut for you in the link in the description. You have this free AI built software that'll build your Shopify store in just a couple minutes. So essentially you'll be able to get to a rough draft of this without all the hassle. What you're going to do is come here and you're going to click build my free store. Go ahead, enter in all your details, your full name, your email address, create a quick account. It's all free right now. Once you enter that in again, this is an AI builder. So it's going to do all the hard work for you. You're going to come over here and first pick your niche. You can pick fashion, pets, apparel. I'm not sure works as well. Again, this is just to give you some templated images and some suggested products through a software called auto DS, which I'll get into here in a little bit. But if you're not sure, you could just click. I'm not sure you click update. I already clicked this in. You go to the next step. Then you're going to choose a banner for your niche. So if you picked pet products, you can pick one of these banners. This will be kind of like this homepage banner on Shopify. Let's go with this guy. I like this guy. We're going to click next. Then you're going to click here and click access Shopify. Here you're going to sign up for shopify.com. Just enter in basic uh, information. It's a free trial and then you get access to it for a month for a dollar. So again, this is very minimal money to start with. Click done. So once you get to this Shopify homepage, you're going to go ahead and copy and paste this URL, paste it in here, click save, click done, and then you're on to the next steps. Just go ahead, follow all of these simple steps to get it set up. Click access Shopify. Once you do it, click done. You're then going to install your app in the Shopify store, click install, click customize your store. And this is the AI working for you, doing it all for you in just a couple of clicks. So now if you're drop shipping and have never sold a product before, you can click register to auto DS and it's going to automatically give you some suggested products that you can start drop shipping. So once you've registered for auto DS, this is what it's going to look like. Once you log in, you're going to click done, click access Shopify store, click done, and then you're going to click access my store. And then just like that, you have a fully built Shopify store. It has all of the collections here. This pulled some information from my fishing line store. It has all your images set up. And again, it basically takes all of the hard work. Like this step used to probably take me a couple of hours, if not a couple days to get to this point. And now you've just done it in a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to show you what are the important features to make your store look like a fully converting store and have all of the best features that you need to build out in order to actually start making money using your Shopify store. So now that you have your Shopify store actually set up, or at least the template set up, I want to walk you through what are the most important elements that have led to my success using the Shopify store. So here's my Shopify backend. You can see we have $3,000 in sales today and it is 12 o'clock, but basically you have these sections, home orders, products, customers, content, analytics, online store, etc. One thing where people go wrong is they spend way too much time building out the homepage and making the homepage of the website look beautiful. And the homepage really isn't that important because when you actually run ads to your store or you run TikTok shop posts, whatever it is, 99% of the time you're sending it to a PDP or a product page, which is this, right? So this is what you want to build out and have badass. You want to have your descriptions on point. You want to have your images and infographics on point. You want to have your price and strike through on point, your, uh, your reviews on point, your video description. And then again, your reviews, that is what you want to have on point. So don't get too worried about the layout of the actual website, focus on the product page. Keep in mind with the AI store builder, when you click on the product page, look what it comes up as. It already has your colors built out. It already has reviews put on the page. It has your strike through pricing. It has multiple images. Um, typically they actually do have bullet points under the um, descriptions, but you can see this is fully built out, um, has infographics, uh, reviews, like everything you need on a product page is done through the AI store builder. So it works super, super well.
Where you're actually gonna go to edit all this is you're gonna come here to this online store section. You're gonna go to themes. And then this is the one we currently have published. This is the one that the free store builder built for us. You're gonna come over here and click customize. So once you click customize, it's gonna allow you to move all this stuff around. So you can see it's all basically templated, very, very user-friendly, very easy to use. You don't need any coding. I have zero coding experience and I've been running Shopify stores for 10 plus years. Before you actually start building the layout of your store, what you're gonna wanna do is actually add some products. So if you have your own business and you have your own products, you're going to come over to this product section and just start clicking this add product section and just start going through it. Uh, descriptions, titles, prices, images. It's all very straightforward. Now, if you're drop shipping and you don't have any products in a previous step, right? You opened up auto DS and you signed up for auto DS here. You can find a whole bunch of products that you want to drop ship. What's cool about the store builder, when you went through the theme selector, it actually imported some potential best-selling products in your niche. So you wanted pets, it already imported a bunch of best-selling pet products. And you can see that here. It does the descriptions for you, all bulleted pointed out already, has the specifications, has all of the images. Again, this is basically a cheat code to do this thing in minutes instead of days. And if you're new to drop shipping, I highly recommend using AutoDS instead of going straight to AliExpress. They basically have everything Everything already best selling verified suppliers, everything you need here. And they have a bunch of other tools and spy products. Like, really check out this software. It's what I use when I used to drop ship. So it's a really, really good process. Now I'm gonna walk you through what our Beyond Braid store looks like and everything we have step by step, starting from home page to images to product pages, etc. When you come to the online store section, this is where you could actually choose your theme and they have a bunch of free themes. Again, the build your store actually created the best selling theme. So you could just go ahead and use that one. If you want to change it, there's a bunch of options here for you, but we're just going to stick with this theme and we're going to click customize and it goes in order, right? It starts at your header. It starts with your mega menu, which is basically this, and then it goes into the template, right? Image text with overlay. This is what we have. So you're just going to click this. You're going to upload whatever image you want. It has the recommended dimensions. You're going to add your heading. Here we have blue wave beyond braid, and then you're going to add your buttons shop blue wave shop braided line. So it's actually cool that we're in here because you could see how this doesn't look good. Like they can't see that. So we're going to go ahead and change that color to look white. Another helpful tip before I do that is most of your traffic is actually going to be done on mobile. What's cool about Shopify's uh, theme editor is you can toggle from mobile to desktop mobile to desktop. Make sure whatever changes you make, it actually looks good on mobile and desktop as well. So I'm always double checking like, hey, does this look good on mobile? Does this look good on desktop? So now that we added all of this main header information, we can move on to the next step. The next one is going to be an image with text. So here, very simple. It's an image that I uploaded. We're going to click in so you can see everything. Image that I uploaded, a headline, one liner, keep things simple. People don't like long descriptions in e-commerce. They want to read things quickly. And then uh, you can simply link this button to whatever collection you want. So if I click that, you can see it goes to a collection or a product page, excuse me, that went to a product page. So you can link it to a collection or a product page. Once you're done adding that image with text, you're going to come in here and again, just check if it looks good. Now, obviously I have all of these built in. If you want to add in a custom section, you click here and just click add section. Now here it's going to have a collection list, featured collection, a gallery, promotions, logo list. Like they have all of these templated things that you could add in. You can even link some of your apps to it, but here you're just choosing from one of the sections here. You would look for and type in image with text and it pops up right there in the add a section. And that's what I have laid out. Next, I hop into a featured collection. So here, try to just make this look as aesthetic as possible with how many products you have. So just name it something simple, braided line. I linked it to a specific collection, right? So this is a collection of braided line, which I've already created here in the collection section, which is super easy to do. You just click create collection and then you add your products there. You can change the number of products and I'll show you what that looks like if you want them to display bigger or smaller. I think I actually might 
pop it in. See, that actually looks kind of cool on desktop. What does it look like on mobile? Mobile doesn't really matter, but on desktop, you could actually see more stuff, but that's a little hard to see. We'll keep it at six, and then it always has the arrows that they can scroll through. You can limit the products. You could do a grid or a slider. I like the slider, so it takes up minimum room. So, right, super simple, straightforward. So let's go over it again. We have our main menu. We have our image, header image, an image with a text, and then a collection. I have another collection and then another image with text, right? This is just the basic layout for my homepage. Nothing crazy, nothing special. You can customize it. And again, this free store builder does a really, really good job of doing the basics for you. So you have this all built in super quickly, but change it around as you please. So next section, I really want you to pay attention because this is where the money is made. We're gonna talk about setting up your product page. This is by far the most important section of the entire video, because this is where you're gonna be driving your traffic and your marketing to and spending money to get customers here. If this page looks like shit, you're not going to sell anything. So let's dive into what a really good product page looks like. And guys, you could tell my website is not super fancy. Could it be better? Hell yeah, it could be better, but it works. So why change it? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So let's come into one of these pages. Let's walk you through all the elements that a good product page should have. For some reason on the store builder, the image is not loading here. It's just a little laggy, but don't mind that. I'm going to show you what the completed images look like here. You want a bright, clear image. If your images aren't clear, people will not buy. Trust me, I know from experience, you want white background images only. Don't do black, gray. Don't try to make it look themed. White, clean background images. A good simple hack is honestly, go look at an Amazon page, right? If you go to amazon.com and go look at any product, let's go look at our same Beyond Braid product, right? Do what Amazon does. Amazon has spent billions and billions and billions of dollars perfecting how to get people to buy. And basically what we do is try to make our website look like this. White background images, five images with infographics, five bullet points, a little bit of A plus content, which is what this is called, banner images, and then reviews. If you look at our product pages, let's go through it again. You got the main white image, some infographics, you got your strike through pricing, your options, your reviews, your five bullet points, your video, and then your infographics plus reviews. So what we do is try to line it up as similar to Amazon as possible. And again, you want it to look good on mobile. I can't stress that enough. So we're gonna come over here and make sure it looks good on mobile. Again, I don't know why this is lagging a little bit like this, but we'll still be able to work through it. So here, we're gonna have our same header. That we're not touching for the product page. Mega menu, we're not touching as well. Product. So here, when you click product, there's a bunch of options that you can select. And basically all this is, is just to get the layout to have it how you want it. Show the thumbnails, don't show the thumbnails. You can look, pause this and copy my settings if you want exactly. And you can go to beyondbraid.com, product row limit, etc. Again, this is all just personal preference of how good you want your store to look like. We have a recommended product section and then we have a footer. So basically, right, the products section is very easy and how you kind of get this layout is actually done when creating an actual product in Shopify. So let's go show you what that looks like. So once you come to the actual product section, you're going to enter your title and then here I format this right? This description is where you format all of this stuff. So I do the bullet points, can do the bold, the italics, and then to put images, you can either copy and paste the images, or you click this little insert image button, wherever you want to put in the images. And that's what these are for, right? So to get these images in your description, that's how you're going to do that. And you're going to put them in right here to get a video. You're going to have to post your video on YouTube and then click this um, little insert video. And then it's going to ask you for your embedded YouTube video. So what does that embedded YouTube video link look like? Come to YouTube. I'll show you. It's basically any video. Uh, don't give me an ad. It's probably going to give me an ad. Give me an ad. So you're going to click share and then you're going to take this embed link. You're going to copy this and then obviously copy the whole thing and then paste it in here and then that video will appear. And that's how you basically get that layout, right? So you have the description. I like to put, hey, ships from the United States of America for your drop shipping or business that might be different and just include all relevant information, but make sure you have these infographics, make sure you have the bullet points and the video. The other pictures you're gonna put here in this section, that is the square images, these infographics, that's what you're gonna put in this section. And then once you finish that all up, you're going to click save again, do exactly what I'm doing. This works. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. If you want to design and take some extra time, you don't have to put too much focus into that because it's not going to make or break your store. As long as you follow this very simple template, it's going to work. And then after that, you have the reviews. 
So for reviews, we use an app called Luke's. I'll leave a, a link in the description if you want to check them out. There's a million review apps out there. Some are paid, some are free. We found that Luke's works really well. It just has clean images, clean reviews, and I've used them for a long time. So it looks really, really good. Once you've set up your product page, you set up your homepage, you got your products on your store. You're now going to need a domain name or a website name, something, something.com. So you're going to come over to your settings and you're going to come over to domains. You can see we own beyondbraid.com. You're going to click buy a new domain and name it whatever you want. Let's just say you want to name it Ryan Maya store help.com. It's going to search and see if that's available. Hey, it's available. It's $16 a year. You're going to click buy and you're on your way to getting this all set up. This section takes just a couple of minutes. The next step to actually increasing the likelihood that your Shopify store actually converts and sells stuff is to add in apps. So within Shopify, there's the Shopify app store, which you can visit right here. This is in settings. These are all the apps that we have on our store. I'm not going to go in depth on each and every one of them, but some really important ones. Ship Hero we use for our shipping and our 3PL. Fast Bundle to bundle some products. That's a great way to increase average order value. So we have tools and fishing kits. Super simple. OmniSend, we have Postscript, Chargeflow, Monk, TikTok, Triple Whale for attribution. Luke's reviews, Jufi, Candy Rack, Discounty, inventories. Like you can pause, screenshot these, but again, there's a Shopify app store where you can go and download all of these. I'd say some really, really important ones that you should start with is probably Triple Whale for attribution tracking, Luke's for Luke's reviews, Candy Rack for upsells. So what that is, is when you add something to the cart, you're gonna get a pop-up that recommends some other products. Clavio for email and SMS marketing, but that's a little expensive. Those few are the basics. Go to the Shopify app store, explore, try to find some stuff that will work for you to each Shopify store's own, but those are the basic ones that I'm using right now. And if you're just starting off in drop shipping, make sure you're using AutoDS. It is by far the best drop shipping software you could use, has all of the hand-picked products, ad spy tools, print-on-demand, dashboards, order sourcing, everything you need you can get through AutoDS. So make sure you are using AutoDS for drop shipping. Something super important that you actually have to do to set up your Shopify store is actually set up your payment section as well. So here you'll just go ahead and add your PayPal account. You'll add in your bank account information and just fill out all of the necessary settings that it requires you. You obviously, when someone checks out on your website, you want to get paid. So go ahead and add in your payment information. If you don't have a PayPal account set up, there's actually a button here that you can click and it'll set one up based on the email you used to sign up for your Shopify store. I recommend just going to PayPal, start a new PayPal account and do it that that way and then connect it in. It's much easier and cleaner that way. One of the last steps that is super crucial is whenever you make any changes, any changes to your store, go ahead and just look through the store both on desktop and on mobile and test out the features. Make sure the product page looks correct. Make sure the buttons work. Make sure you add things to cart. Make sure you have things in stock, not out of stock. Make sure when you add it to cart, your candy rack pops up, right? You wanna test your store, do some test orders, create a discount code for yourself. Just check out, make sure it actually accepts the payment information and all that stuff. If you set up a discount code, make sure the discount code works. Make sure all your shipping settings are set up. I can't tell you how many times I changed stuff on my store in the past. You click live and you think it's good to go, but then the customer can't check out. You run Facebook ads for three days with a few hundred bucks and make no sales. And you're like, what's going on? It's because your store broke after you made a setting. So make sure you just test all the functionality of this stuff and make sure it works. If you guys have any specific questions on setting up your store, leave it in the comments below. Be sure to check out the Build Your Store AI bot. The link is in the description. Check out AutoDS, two awesome, awesome tools that I use all the time for Shopify. Great, great, great things to hyper start your drop shipping or Shopify business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.